A renewed call has been made for Nigeria to be restructured. Secretary General of the Yoruba Council of Elders, Kunle Olajide, made this assertion in Oshogbo at a book launch and colloquium organized in honor of the retired Director General of Oshun State Broadcasting Corporation, OSBC. And TVC News correspondent Rafiu Hamid completes that story. Yoruba agenda is all about the future of the space called Yoruba land in the light of the current economic, political, and social challenges facing the country. Before now, there have been calls for restructuring as one of the solutions to the nation's, to the nation's current challenges. Speakers at this colloquium share the thought that Nigeria as a country must operate a true federalism where states can explore, control, and deploy their resources according to their priorities. Each federating unit must be allowed to set its priorities, explore its resources, deploy its resources according to its priorities, and pay an agreed rate or royalty to the center for few services. The most important thing for any human being, as far as I'm concerned, is security, welfare, education, and health. You don't devolve in a federation because it is the people that have the power. So if the people have the power, then we should be allowed to design, to determine what we want to be. And what we are saying is that in a unitary system, in a federal system, the people should have the right to tap their resources. Instead of going to Abuja to collect money, which is not available, we should be able to tap what we see in our soil. It is then that we can enjoy. Other speakers at the event called for unity among the Yoruba people as a factor to engender growth and development of the region. Because of this disunity, if this one say A, the other one will say B. And now that we have political party, the party cannot come together even for the interests of the Yoruba. And that's why even though as at 1985, we have about five universities, today we have 27 in the Southwest. But despite that one, you realize these are institutions, it's a glorified secondary school. We need to first start with the structuring of our mind, with the structuring of our psyche, to be able to first and foremost address what we really desire, to be able to address what direction to follow. From there, we can now start. It's not a question of restructuring based on selfish interest, but collective aspiration, collective interest that will always address the future needs of the group. They maintain that Nigeria must never be divided despite the call for restructuring as envisioned by the founding fathers. Rafael Hamid, TVC News, Ushubu.